got some resistance, and if I just try to walk, he'll catch my center of gravity uh, as I'm going forward. So I have to establish single pivot points. So each, each step is a coquille projection. Dot walking into free space. So coquille projection, coquille projection. Then I have to charge Sig on the violence. When my eyes don't wander, I'm not looking around. I prioritize he, him, he's the threat. So I'm moving in. And I want that connection with his weapon. So I'm not just touching it and it's dead. It should be, get stuck on him. So I'm thinking about two. I'm waiting to see what he does, okay? So there's a time when I go to say God, and he, he will match it. So we're not giving away any opening. Okay, boom, I'll take the center line, and he matches it. My stance is under me because I don't know where I need to go, so don't get in a bracing stance. So, working with the same charge notion. So, yo, you, okay? Everything is charged. So, right now, uh, we're too close. So, I have to pay attention to the mind. I still have the same measuring drill, okay? So, in other words, like, oh, I, I can get his hand. So, I have to be in that right sweet spot of range, okay? Same thing. I have to make sure that I'm in a mind that is conducive towards the wood weapon and not uh, any kind of grappling situation and he goes into his, his uh, hands or something. You get it? So I have to be in that sweet spot. Now, if I'm out here, then I'm not a threat to him. That's why it's a sweet spot. I can't be too close and I can't be too far. So I'm out, I'm in this perfect spot where he wants to fight with the weapon, he does not want to fight with his uh, body art, but I can hit him or he can hit me within a ski range. All right, so now comes the problem. How do I move there? Most people take the line of gravity between their feet like that. So you can look at it, you're going out, and then down, out, and then down. And instead, I have to establish that ground vector. I have to drop down and then out. So it's the exact opposite. I go down and then I go out. So first, let's look. You're going to be uh, stressed on the end of my weapon, okay? I'm going to try to do the other one. And again, you have the same problem that you'll have in Sagan. You won't be able to go forward. You have to establish the ground vector down, and then you can go forward with the CoQ projection. So, if I get caught in the middle, boom, I'm actually not going to do what I think I'm going to do. But there's a range variation that happens too. When you go, I'll move it a little aside. When I go out and then down, I can't really penetrate that far because I don't get that thrust into the movement. So instead, I'm going down, boom, and then you can see my weapon can do its job. So we 
add that movement to the drill, okay? So he's going to give, go from this neutral to give the opening. He's going to adopt that position. And the opening happens there. So that is where I start my movement. Just like Sagan, I'm matching him. Whoa, I have to match that. What do I match it with? The dropping down and establishing of the rear vector. Oh, oh. Then he's going to work on his ukemi. So I don't want him running away from it. And I don't want him nailing me. I will pull it as I need to, but I'm going to do my job, he does his job. acceptance of the violence. So if he's coming, this is not accepting it. He's still trying to be safe. Okay? He goes, I'm just riding this thing. So some of you are, he goes, and you're here, here, here. Like, why did you go this extra far? Just be right here. He's there. Boom. Because I'm going to use that skill, which is more of an emotional acceptance of what's happening, uh, to be in and do Ushido Tenkan. Okay? So when he goes, whoa, that is the beginning of Ushido Tenkan. I want to lure him in. Not move it, make him not want to do it. I lure him. Then we go slow for the details. Basically, showman wrist turn. Single pivot point, then you're out of the way. Then the timing can be he goes, waits, then I go. speed and 
give him an inferior speed. So if I'm doing two steps to their one step, this is not sound reasoning, okay? So when I, if I go here and I go one, then you go two, I, I will be a beat behind. So let's say he's gonna double ski. You, you won't, won't. So let's say he misses on the first one, okay? And I'm doing a two-step maneuver. One, two. Let's say, uh, we'll, uh, we'll do it slowly so you see, just stay in the same rhythm, okay? A long, one, two. So we'll go, we'll do the other one, okay? We'll just stay slow so you can slow, slow, okay? Long, boom, he double skis, pop. Okay? Um, let's also look at another one. A worse one, I'm going to do three, you know, so you can see what it is. He does his ski, and I'm going to go one, two, three. Do you see? Again, so you can see. One, I'm sorry. One, two, three. Then we kill double ski on that one. One, two. Got the idea? Okay, so what we're doing with the Shido Tenkan is uh, he's coming in and again goes slow. So when I, I'm luring him into the initial ski and I'm shifting off the line, all I gotta do now is rotate and he's missed. You see? So we'll do it on the other side. So when I establish the rear vector, I'm moving to the right. He goes, whoa, and then I rotate on that rear vector. He's missed. This step is not for deviation. This step is for acquiring the new line of attack. The deviation already happened. On here, one, two. You see? Then, I would go, watch what I'm doing, go, boom. I already put the right hand in place. I don't leave it here. Then I'm gonna try to move it. Boom. You'll tend to get twisted up. Let's do that first. On uh, here, and you're right here, you're twisted up. Half body going the other way. You're in a twist stance in essence. So bring the weapon to you. With you, to you, boom. It's all ready to go. There's your showman. Turn your wrist and you have your kessa. So don't get hung up on this block. It's not a block. The deviation already made him miss, okay? So instead, prep your weapon. Boom, deviate, boom. Do you have another side? We don't block in Aikido, so I don't need this movement there. I'm not hitting his hands. I'm going for his head. Deviation, hold, pop. Okay, try it. Okay, another beginner mistake is he's coming in and you were told I'm not hitting his hands and I'm I'm baiting him in, so I don't want to I don't want to deflect his weapon. And so your solution is that you take your weapon here. You see, and this is not uh, this is not very strong. So I I want that angle. I want the angle instead. Okay, so I'm here like this, and he pushes my leash. See, I can't get it, but if I come underneath, there's more 
integrity to the weapon. Second point on that is I'm already performing the Kessa. So we'll just get there. Okay, so the Kessa is hitting here. Okay? And that that's my angle. And so this is the plane that I want to work on. So when I come around to here, this, this is what goes around. Boom. I don't want to have one angle here. Then I come down and I get a new angle. It's just a single plane that goes around. Boom, and hits there. Okay, so. So, oh, boom, here. I don't have to push his weapon to do that. I might have to get lower and come underneath his weapon more. But I want to keep that angle, boom, right in the kessa. So the beginner mistake is you're not tailoring it to his height, style, preference, and you're like, oh, that would be wrong, so let me just go here. That's also wrong. Instead, move the juji underneath him more. You'll feel his pressure. So I go to make contact, I feel that. That's where I stay. So I don't push past it, but I don't go into it. I stay right on what he's given me. Bait. Boom. Keeping one plane in the kessa. Okay, let's go. Okay, so directional harmony and body fusion. I need, I need that when I do this, okay? So he's coming in. Okay, got my weight shift. That's, that's, this is what my body's doing. Boom, pop. That's what my body's doing. My hands have to be uh, working within that. So I'm going one, you go real slow to the top, okay? No, dude, don't start over, please. Go, go, okay? I'm here. Boom, you see all my, my hands are, are in front of me, okay? So they're gonna turn with me as I go, and I'm not gonna leave them here, because now I'm twisted. Oh, my hands come back with me. The Joe comes back with me. This is very common, but very wrong. Boom, now you're here like this. You're all twisted up. The weapon and your hands come back with you. Boom. So I'm never going to be twisted. Never going to be like this. When this foot is back here, this is back here. Right here. Boom. Wrong. 